my friends. I'm so happy to see you this morning. I'm Miss Rachel at the William Jeans Memorial Library, and we are going to have sensory story time together. And once upon a time, when we had sensory story time here at the library, we always did a sensory activity after the first part of story time, something where we could use our hands to explore something like rice or water beads. Um, dry rice, not cooked rice. Um, so maybe sometimes after we do story time together um, this way, maybe you can try some kind of a sensory activity at home just so you don't forget what it's like when we can do that together in person again. I'm so happy that you're here. We're going to sing good morning. This will be our first song to say hello to everyone. And I know some of you that are attending today, and I'll definitely sing your names, and you can put your name in the comments so I know, like I know Brayden and Kaylin are here. Good morning. We'll sing to you in our welcome song, and then we'll read our first book. Then we'll do another song. Whoops, I'm jumping ahead. Another song and another book. When we get here, that's when we'll do our shaker song. I'll put the shaker eggs right here so you know when we get here, that's when to get something ready to shake. So it doesn't have to be shaker eggs. It can be anything at all that you can move around and make a noise with. And if you don't have anything like that, just use your hands. When we get here, we'll do a song with a scarf or anything at all that you can wave around and pretend is like a scarf. And then, of course, we'll blow bubbles. I'll blow bubbles for you, and you can follow them on the screen. Or you can blow bubbles at home if you're allowed to do that. I'm so happy to see that you're all joining us this morning. Let's sing good morning to all of you. We're happy, happy, happy that you're here. Make sure I don't miss anybody today. Hello, Brayden. Hello, Brayden. Hello, Brayden. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, Kaylin. Hello, Kaylin. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Josie. Hello, Josie. Hello, Josie. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Isabella. Hello, Isabella. Hello, Isabella. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Autumn. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Maya. Hello, Maya. Hello, Maya. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Kate. Hello, Kate. Hello, Kate. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Callie. Hello, Callie. Hello, Callie. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Lorenzo. Hello, Lorenzo. Hello, Lorenzo. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Casey. Hello, Casey. Hello, Casey. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Eleanor. Hello, Eleanor. Hello, Eleanor. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Adian. Hello, Adian. Hello, Adian. We're glad you're here today. <coughs> mm, losing my voice. I'm so happy that so many friends are here. I just want to make sure I sang 
to everybody. <gasps> How could I almost not sing to Charlie and Maisie? Let's sing to Charlie and Maisie. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. We're glad you're here today. Hello, Maisie. Hello, Maisie. Hello, Maisie. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, good morning, and welcome. Let's read our first book, which is by one of my favorite authors. I know I say that a lot because I have a lot of favorite authors. It's called Love the World by Todd Parr. And you probably know of Todd Parr, and even if you didn't know the name, you probably recognize the style. Um, all of Todd's books have the same kind of bright, bold colors. So this is one of my favorites by one of my favorites author, authors. And I am so happy to share it with all of you because not only do I love the world, but I love you. This book is published by Little Brown and Company. Got to move my chair over here so I can show you these colorful, bright and bold and wonderful pictures by Todd Parr. Love the world. Love the world. Love your face. You can look in the mirror and say, I love you, face. Love your space. Whether it's a tree house or an apartment or a house, love the space you're in. Love your nose. Love your toes. Pickle, 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 pickle. Love your eyes, no matter how many eyes you have. Love your size. Maybe you're big, like this friend, or maybe you're teeny tiny. All sizes are good sizes. Love your walk. Love your talk. Maybe you speak the way I'm speaking now. Maybe you use sign language. This girl is using American Sign Language to sign, to communicate, I love you. Actually, I'm not sure if that actually is ASL. I should have done that a little more research before I chose this book. But you can communicate I love you with words through your mouth or with your hands. Sometimes you can say I love you with a hug. Love giving a hand. Look at these friends. They're bringing some food to put in these big buckets to share with some people that need some extra food. They're giving a hand. Love taking a stand. This is the Statue of Liberty with a sign that says, Welcome, friends! You can love taking a stand and say, Everybody is welcome. Love yourself. Can you give yourself a hug? Give yourself a big hug. Love yourself. And love the world. Love the bees. Love the trees and everything that lives in them. Love your ears. Do your ears look like this? Mine do not, but I sure wish they did. Imagine having rainbow ears. And 
love your tears. Sometimes when you're sad or hurt or mad, you let out some tears and that's okay. You can love your tears and then sometimes it helps you feel better. The crocodile says, I feel, <clears throat> I feel better. Love your hair. Love your flair. Maybe you have lots of big, bushy, fluffy hair. Or maybe you cut it all off and put a bow on top of your head. And that's your special flair. Love being kind. Can you tell what's happening in this picture? This sign says, animal shelter. And these people went in their car to the animal shelter and they adopted a dog. They're being kind, taking care of a dog that needed a home. I think this dog is gonna miss its friend, but the cat is happy that it has a home. And maybe someone will be kind and come and adopt these friends too. Love being kind. Love using your mind. This child has built a robot. What can you build to using your mind? Love making art. Love sharing your heart. Maybe this is the dog that got adopted from the animal shelter. It looks like it could be. And now it has a baby sharing its heart. Love yourself. Give yourself another big hug. Mm -hmm. Love yourself and love the world. Love your giggles. <laughs> and love your wiggle. You can't see me because I'm sitting over here, but I'm wiggling. Are you wiggling? Love your wiggle and your giggle. Love your grin. Do you know what a grin is? This is a grin. It's a big, giant smile that takes up your whole face. Love that grin and love your skin. Look, this friend's skin is a little bit like a world. It has some water and some earth. I don't know what the red is, but whatever your skin is like, you can love it and so can we. Love the land and all the animals that live on and love the sea and all the creatures that live in the sea. Love the earth. Love you and me. Love yourself. Love the world. Here's some of the pictures from this book. Give yourself one more hug of yourself. And then love the world. I'm feeling very snuggly today. I'm very full of love. So that's why I chose that book. And the next one you'll see too, that I'm in that kind of a mood. It's a good thing to share our love with each other and for ourselves and for the world. We're gonna sing another song. And this one is a little bit silly. You guys probably know this one. Um, it is called, mm, ah. But 
there is another verse that I made up. And every time I do this song in story time, I forget to add the verse that I made up. Because we, we do um, a green frog, and then we do um, a blue fish. And then I want to add a red bug. So we'll do that verse too. If you've never done this song with us before, you will learn it very fast. It's very easy. And it's a good one to practice making sounds and practice the way we use our mouth to make different sounds. All right? So we start with the frog who goes, mmm. You ready? Mmm. Ah, went the little green frog one day. Mmm. Ah, went the little green frog. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm, mm, ah. But we know frogs go sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. We know frogs go sha na 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 na. They don't go mm, mm, ah, which is very silly because frogs don't say mm or ah or. Sha na 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 na, do they? Nope. How about fish? Bloop bloop went the little blue fish one day. Bloop bloop went the little blue fish. Bloop bloop went the little blue fish one day, and they all went bloop bloop bloop. See how you have to use your mouth in a very special way to make that sound? Bloop. Can you make a pop at the end? Bloop. That's a fun way to do it. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss. We know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. They don't go bloop, bloop, bloop. Can you make a kissy, fishy lip? That's tricky, isn't it? Not for the fish. Not for the fish. Okay, so here's my verse that I made up about bugs. Beep, beep, went the little red bug one day. Beep, beep, went the little red bug. Beep, beep, went the little red bug one day. And they all went beep, beep, beep. And that's another one to practice using your lips. Beep. You can make a pop at the end of that sound, too. Beep. But... We know bugs go busy, 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 We know bugs go busy, 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 busy. They don't go beep, beep, beep. That's when you do that with your mouth. Busy, 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 busy. It almost tickles your tongue and your lips, doesn't it? All right, let's do it again, all three verses. And I won't keep interrupting the song. We'll just sing it. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog one day. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog. Mmm, ah, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mmm, mmm, ah. But we know frogs go, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. We know frogs go, sha na 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 na, they don't go, mmm, mmm, ah. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. And they all went bloop, bloop, bloop. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. Kissy, kissy, kiss. Kissy, kissy, kiss. We know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. They don't go. I almost forgot and said, mm, mm, ah. They don't go bloop, bloop, bloop. Beep, beep, went the little red bug one day. Beep, beep, went the little red bug. Beep, beep, went the little red bug one day. And they all went beep, beep, beep. But we know bugs go buzz, buzzy, busy, buzz, buzz, busy, buzzy, buzz, buzz, buzzy, buzzy, buzz. We know bugs go buzz. Buzzy, buzzy, buzz, they don't go beep, beep, beep. You probably know what all of those animals and creatures, what sounds they make. There are some bugs that go buzz, buzzy, buzzy, buzz, but some bugs are totally silent. 
And fish don't actually give kisses, but the way they move their lips <coughs> kind of looks like a kiss. And frogs, they just go river. They don't go sha na 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 or mm. ah, do they? But I love that song because I love how you get to practice all the different ways you can use your lips and your tongue and your mouth. And then it helps you get better at speaking. All right, the next book I'm gonna read, I just discovered, I never read it before this week. It's called Hug Machine by Scott Campbell. And I love it. Probably I love it because I love hugs too, just like the hug machine. This is published by Athenium Books for Young Readers. Let's check out the hug machine. Whoa! I am very good at hugging, the best at hugging. No one can resist my unbelievable hugging. I am the hug machine. My hugs calm people down. They cheer them up. They make them go completely nuts. I am the hug machine. I hug everything I see. Look how silly that is. No one escapes the hug machine. My hugs make the biggest, whoa, feel small. And the smallest feel big. I hug soft things, hard things, square things. Long things because I am sliding off my chair. I am the hug machine. Oh, do you need a hug? I think you do. Hug accomplished. There is nothing the hug machine will not hug. What about me? I am so spiky. No one ever hugs me. Well, they are missing out. Look, the hug machine put on a helmet and a pillow tied to the front and big oven mittens and boots so that they could hug the spiky, I don't know if it's a porcupine or a hedgehog, because everyone needs hugs even if they're prickly. What about me? Surely I am too big for you to hug. Do you think the hug machine will hug the big whale? I think so. Of course the whale is not too big. Not for the hug machine. The hug machine just has to do it a little bit differently. People often ask 
what the hug machine eats to keep the hugging energy high? Well, the answer is pizza. The hug machine likes pizza very much. After all that pizza, look, refueled and ready for action. So this is a little map of the hug machine going throughout the neighborhood, hugging every one and everything they pass. Starting here. I don't want to put my finger in the way, so I'll hold this so you can look and see yourself. All of the people and things that the hug machine hugs. So many hugs. And if you would like to check this book out from the library, you could spend even more time looking at all the hugs, especially on that page. Uh-oh. The hug machine's coming for you. Hug. Mm -hmm. Whew. What a tiring day of hugging. The hug machine is exhausted. Hug machine can hug no more for today. Oh, why yes, you may hug the hug machine. Hug machine is always open for business. So guess what? Even the hug machine is so busy giving hugs, also likes to receive hugs. I think I mentioned this before, maybe it was last week at pajama story time, but it's good to mention again that hugs are great and lots of people love to receive hugs, but some people don't. So it's important, and the book doesn't tell us this, it's important to ask someone before you hug them, especially if they're not someone that you know already loves to receive hugs, if they would like a hug, because some people like to ex <clears throat> express their love and affection in other ways and might not be comfortable with the hug. So I have to practice that too, because I love hugs and I forget that not everybody does. So don't forget to ask, would you like a hug? May I give you a hug? unless it's somebody that you already know loves to get your hugs. The Hug Machine. Thank you for reading that book with me. That brings us to the Shaker song. Let's see if Miss Rachel can get all the technology right for the Shaker song today while you get whatever it is you're going to shake with today. Let's see. Turn on the Bluetooth. The speaker's connected, and this is what I do every time. And sometimes it works like a charm, and sometimes it just doesn't. We'll see. Oh, I'm ready with my shakers. Are you ready? Yes. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, sh
shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. when I chose this song that it might be snowing while we were having our time together this morning for those of us that are here live. But really, at least where I am, it's just rain. Maybe you're somewhere else and maybe the weather is totally different where you are. So we're gonna do a song and we're gonna use our scarves and sing a little bit about different kinds of weather. So, not here, there's no sun today here, but maybe where you are, there's sun. Maybe it's even hot. It's hard to imagine for those of us who are in a cold place right now in the end of January. But what do we do if we're going to be outside in the sun? Sun is shining, what should I do? Sun is shining, what should I do? Sun is shining, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? I'll put on my sunscreen, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my sunscreen, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my sunscreen, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. The wind is blowing, what should I do? The wind is blowing, what should I do? The wind is blowing, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? <coughs> Excuse me. I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. I'll put my hood up, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Snow is falling, what should I do? Snow is falling, what should I do? Snow is falling, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? I'll put on mittens, that's what I'll do. I'll put on mittens, that's what I'll do. I'll put on mittens, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. No wind, no sun. No snow, not here, but we do have rain. Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? Rain is falling, what should I do? What should I do, my darling? Put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. I'll put on my rain boots, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my darling. Wherever you are and whatever the weather is like, I hope you are doing wonderful. 
and I'm so glad that you took some time to be with me this morning. We're going to send you off and say goodbye with bubbles. I don't know how it's here. Just enough to cover my computer so I don't get bubbles on my keyboard. Maybe you have bubbles at home that you can blow along with me, but if not, just enjoy the bubbles that you'll see I'm going to blow on the computer screen. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air. Everywhere. There are bubbles way up high. Way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. Let's see if they fall down onto the screen. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high. In the sky. There are bubbles way down low. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dave. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye, and goodbye to all of you, my young friends. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye. Till next time. Goodbye, Bubbles. Goodbye, friends. Please remember to love yourself, to love the world, to love others, and to hug whoever would like to be hugged. Goodbye. <laughs>